Hey everyone, good morning. So it started snowing last night. And this is what we have this morning. So, a good inch, inch and a half. This is my wheat field. Some of the straw bales on there. I'll probably have to wait till it freezes to get them off. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Maybe I can haul bales, but I hate hauling bales when, it's, when there's snow on them. You have to dump them down and uh, uh, wait for the, like, get the snow to knock off them. Because when you stack them with snow on them, uh, the snow melts in between the stack and the snow does the heat. They don't really want to do that, especially with wet snow. There's dry snow, it's not as bad. to put on the 9250. Uh, do that. I don't know. It's, looks to be an early winter this year. We don't usually get uh, snow starting to fall and staying till around Halloween. But I think we're making up for from the warm winter from last year. Uh, pretty soon we'll have more snow than we even did last year. Anyway, I'm just walking to the other farm, or the main farm, and it's just a little hike across the field to my place, and I'm going to go have coffee, 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 coffee. So uh, I'll show you in a few what I'm going to be doing today. All right, thanks for watching, and Merry Christmas. Hey everyone, how's it going? So today it's uh, uh, pretty snowy out as you can see on the beginning of this video. So I didn't do too much today. Uh, went to town, went to the new PV Mart store, got some odds and ends. Uh, but right now I have the 2096 in the shop and it's cold out there uh, staying at freezing point got my fire going in my stove just add a couple more here it's nice and toasty warm with that uh, I usually have that fan going and it blows the heat off the stove but it's pretty noisy so I turned it off for now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change hydraulic filters. I have bought quite a few. Ordered them from Wix, from my local dealer in town. And they took a long time to get here, but I think they came from Ontario. I get this gasket in there, but I don't think that's the right gasket for it. But I don't believe I need one. Hope not. But these are the filters. You get two. They, they just go like that, side by side. Inside there, and you'll see when I take it apart. Really pretty, pretty simple. You can see I've got a two, four, six. Uh, do I got more? Two, four, six. I thought I had eight of them. Oh, well, yeah, there's more in the truck. So Yeah, we're going to... We're just going to change these, and I'm going to take you along for the ride. So I have my pail, because you do lose quite a bit of hydraulic oil when you do this. Um, I could swing this battery box out of the way, I suppose. Nah, I won't. I'm just doing this. My finger out of the way, and we just gotta take one, two, three, four, five, six bolts off. Okay, as you can see, I popped the cover off and exposed the filter. So, pretty much, you know, all you have to do is 
just turn this retaining ring here or this uh, cap screw nut whatever turn it off and it's I think there's a spring in back there or no, it's in here so this is just a spring inside here pull the old filter out sorry for the light uh, I should just throw these in the oil I think I will yeah there's one way in the back there yet you can see it's inside the housing I'm just gonna grab it there pop in there now I'll go grab my new filters here and it doesn't matter which way you put them in they're both the same on either side so as you can see in there that's where fly in there Line it up with that shaft. Come on. Get in there. What's the problem? Shouldn't matter which way I put it in. It's just that it's getting caught here. Why is that way up like that? Am I in the wrong hole? Sure, I'm in the wrong hole. Light. helps if you put it in the right hole and we'll put the other one in okay now put that back in there thread it on like so and it's pretty easy nothing really to it Make sure it's tight. Ugh. Finger tight is all you need. And now just to put the cover back on. And the gasket should still be good. And I'm gonna need two hands for that. So there, the cover's back on. And there's no oil leaks. And I just have to add a jug of oil back in. And that's how you change hydraulic filters on, or hydraulic transmission filters on a Case International 2096. So if anybody out there has one of these tractors or a 94 series or a 90 series, uh, it's all the same. It's pretty basic, that's how you do it. So ho hopefully I helped anyone who hasn't done it before. And uh, just pretty easy if you don't know where the the filter housing is just it's on the right hand side of the cab outside by the battery box and there's your battery box and you can tell where the filter is just behind it there on that on the transmission housing so yeah uh, that's how you change the filters on this tractor uh, the only other thing now I have to find out is why the seat is a hydraulic suspension seat and it does not want to come up so we're just going to try and figure out why that is not working yet so that'll be another time all right uh thanks for watching make sure you uh check out my instagram northern farmer ab 
uh, yeah, and uh, make sure you subscribe for more, and thanks for watching. Bye.